Welcome back to Bathologic 2. I just finished up my first playthrough, and this is going to be the start of my second. I'm really, really curious about what happens when you choose different options in the game. For example, I think I'm going to play this art to me as more of a, um, I guess more of a traditionalist sort of, somebody who's a bit more connected to their roots. Because I think I want to play an Artemy that wants to protect the Earth at all costs and will not destroy the Polyhedron or anything else that would hurt Mother Bodo. So I'm really curious what doing that is going to do. Also, I can just play so, so, so much better just because of all the experience I have, knowing how the game works and knowing how to avoid death in a lot of ways and knowing what events are going to happen beforehand. So, for example, I don't want to die as much. I died 23 times by the end of my first playthrough. I'm not going to be so unrealistic as to think that I'll finish this playthrough without dying, but I'd like to keep it under five deaths. That'd be nice. And I think I can do that. Pretty confident about that. I also want Ruben to stay alive. Apparently that is possible. Um, I want to help Lara set up the little refuge at her place after the infection hits by finding the water and helping them out and making sure they stay alive. Really want to do that. I also want to stay in the good graces of the kids when it comes to the game. I don't want to be kicked out of the game. No idea what that's going to do, if anything, but yeah, let's just basically, I think I'm just pretty much going to take nothing from the chests and only put things in. That should do it, I would think. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's begin. I wonder what I'm going to think of all these events now that I've played through once. Things are probably going to make a lot more sense to begin with. Ah, a full health bar. Beautiful. It's still dark. Dismissal. Oh, right. We start at the end of the game, basically. Day 12. I forgot about that. Hey, fucker. One got a nod, one got a wink. The third one gets the hint already. So, Burrah, your performance was a flop. You're unfit for the role. A cursed production. This is our second attempt and a second failure. Come on, the first run was decent. That is <clears throat> not for you to judge. It's not our fault you put us into these inhuman conditions. There's that creepy face of death on that cloth up there. What's up, Bachelor? Oh, I'm exhausted. On my last legs. They don't trust me anymore. I wasn't even invited to the final council. I guess I'll kind of skip through some of these things that I remember pretty well, but I'm also kind of curious to delve further into them. Now that I know different things, maybe I would respond differently? Yeah, let's, let's just do the full conversations. Where are the birds? Up? Where else? If you mean the real ones. <laughs> I meant the orderlies. There's more of me to love. Like two or three of me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's... <laughs> In hindsight, that's really funny. In hindsight, that's very true. Turns out the birds aren't birds at all. Want to know what they are? Lean down and I'll tell you. Lower. Lower now. Their fingers. Did they tell you that? Yeah. This is a direct quote. We are not birds. We are fingers. That's why people call them executors. Are you tired? Want me to relieve your headache? 
Go ahead. It's not like you can actually do it. I'm just imagining how is the playthrough going to go when they add in the changeling as a character that you can play? How would it be to play the changeling? It must be very interesting and weird. You know, like what? What would your interaction as the player be with your other self? What is the relationship between the different Claras? The creepy one and the slightly less creepy one? Do they just like each other? Is there any animosity or what? Want to receive your payment? Well, everyone will get paid what they're due in the cathedral. That's where the final choice will be made. By whom? The authorities. Fitting. We'll fix everything. The decision will be made in the cathedral. So I know during all of this opening stuff, before we like really arrive in the town, I know that there's no point in gathering anything, I'm pretty sure. Like, looting anything is pointless, because I'm not going to have that in my inventory. I do remember, yeah, there's a note here. Schlafer contracted it. Anishkov contracted it, contracted it, contracted it. Captain hasn't contracted it. Put a bullet in his head. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is such an amazing beginning, this music. I just realized that this, like... These marks of the infection on the ground are growing and appearing as I walk. They're appearing in front of me. I don't know if there's any point in doing this, but uh, you're killing people. You burn them alive. Your orders are illegal. These people are healthy. Why have you seized them? You should let them go. I don't think that does anything, but just in case. Conversation with Saba here. I know where you're going. Want a piece of advice? Speak, but please be quick. I won't take long. The town is gone, and to hell with it. But the kin are also gone. Your family is gone. Your father remains unavenged, his path unfollowed. The seven children who entrusted their lives to you are dead. You are the only one left. Do you want to save yourself at least? No. God, this music is so good, I love it. <laughs> Heed my advice, you think she loves you? Thinks she's a friend and he's a foe because he brought in cannons? Don't talk to her first. Talk to him. We're talking about the Inquisitor. We are La Saba, and now we need to go. And then we skip time here, right? And they're dead. And the kid's just playing. God, this intro is so good.
Hmm. Those are the two kids that I think are from the tower? I get the feeling that they're actually really, really, really old, because they talked about how nobody ages in the polyhedron. Just looking at me all creepy. They could be hundreds of years old, I don't know. Yeah, a lot of things are making more sense, and I have a lot more context about everything. Jumpy little Jerboas. I love those Jerboas. Talk to him first. Where are my aids? Where's my Batman? You're what? You're wh huh? Is this the doctor? This is the doctor? What do you want? I want to influence your decision, somehow. What is this nonsense? State your name and occupation. Artemy Burah, surgeon. I see. Give me a reason to call off the bombardment. You have one chance. You are a war hero, the only person in our army who can truly be called human. No, Burah. If you told me you had three tank cars of that panacea and an army of doctors from the capital ready to administer it, that would have convinced me. As it stands, there's no going back. It's too great a risk. Don't. Don't worry. This won't hurt so much. Why have you come? You now decide the town's fate. We already decided everything without you. You've come uninvited. What did you decide? Who are you to demand reports from us? A back backwoodsman? A self-taught doctor practicing barbaric traditional medicine? Oh, but I know who you are. You're the person I was very wrong to put my hopes on. The person who let me down. Out. Now. I only need one more day. Hey, you. Over there. Seize this man and throw him out. All of you, please listen. Hmm. You think escaping one's fate is as easy as fleeing one's purpose. So you insist on a second attempt, huh? Stubborn. Perhaps. Alright, let's roll then. Let us imagine that the last train has not yet left the station. Just don't be late. All right, let's roll. Twilight. I wonder how the other characters' games are going to start. What's their intros going to be like? Really curious about the other characters. What a weird leaf. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Some people have said the fellow traveler is death. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, they even accept dead items. How did you get inside this coffin? You mean this train? Coffin is the best means of transportation in the world. It can get you to unimaginable places. You look alive, though. So that vehicle is beyond your means for now. A free rider, huh? Just like you. So death is riding with me. Death is my fellow traveler. That makes me almost feel like I brought the plague with me. I, I'm like 99% sure that's not true. It doesn't really make any sense, but 
I am coming to town with death. Or maybe it's just that we happen to both be arriving at the same time is more of what it is. <sighs> and now enough chatter, all right? You woke me up and I want to sleep. I'm coming home. All I need is to avoid distraction. giant Arok, is it? The giant bull? These are the bulls that they used to take into the abattoir and then feed Mother Boda with their blood, right? Slaughter them into that great hole. are beautiful. They always lead to one place you can't turn from. Except when there's a silly mistake like this crash. Dying just to escape fate. Stupid. Boring. Who are you? Us. Kind volunteers who advise you to return to the train car. It will soon leave. That bull. What has it done? That is Bos Toro. A creature of steppe legend from which the world was created. What was he trying to achieve here? Stupid. Life can never prevent death. Oh, that's not an Arok then. The creature from which the world was created. Right, there's only one of those. Bostoro. Death. As you can see, the blood no longer flows in this artery. There's a clot. You're a doctor, aren't you? Do you have medicine with you? Medicine? What for? How should we know? You're the doctor, not us. Go and see. We're only ensuring no other trains are derailed. We'll fix yours, too, once the beast leaves the tracks. I'll go on foot, then. Someone's waiting for me. There's darkness ahead. I follow the rails into a black cloud. die of infection. What did you roll? A three and a five. Want to share secrets? Why? You can share your worries and I'll take them with me. You know, I don't think I really want to talk all that much with death. No, I don't like the sound of this. All the important people in the town, yeah, they all switch over. That was one of the Stamatons and Anna Angel. I wonder if they have some sort of a relationship. And then there's you who wants water. You're feverish. Where do I get it? Uh, wait for me. I'll leave the spindle. Oh, you. If I get water, does that end the game? I think it's only when I go back that it ends this section. Yeah. 
Yeah, I already spoke with all these people. On my uh, restart that I did, that's when I spoke with them. Each has two eyes and two ears. Most have one nose and one mouth. Riddle me this. If eyes and ears were switched, what would be right? If noses and mouths were switched, what would be fixed? Did you kill him? Answer the question. Hey, Allah. You're a step man. You must know the answer. But I don't. Then be on your way, Hayala. People don't kill people. Are you even human? Her name is just Pac. Because this is, I guess, a Pac. Oh yeah, I was wondering what those, um, what are they called, tragedians? I was wondering what those tragedians were doing up there. I thought maybe they were sword fighting or something like that, but somebody told me they're actually playing dice. Yep, shaking the dice, throwing them down, yeah. Thirsty, fellow traveler? Not me, someone else. There's water in a wooden barrel behind you. You walked past your goal. Not for the first time, certainly not for the last. It's not fair, you have a clear view from up there. It's, it's not fair, what a weird thing to say. and the changeling arguing. Bad dream? Why'd you wake me up? Did I? Awake, asleep, it doesn't matter. You're a restless man. I just wondered what's inside you. Why? Just who I am. I like to get under people's skin to look beneath the surface. Fucking goddammit, creepy ass death, dude. Same here. <laughs> I am a surgeon. Oh yeah, this is when they teach me how to fight. The kin all around me. Let Mother Bodo caress your step, whole bone. You haven't forgotten your people, have you? Bayarla, whole bone. Do you have a good heart? I don't know, I'm afraid it's sick. We hear Earth with our hearts. The heart has a pulse. So does Earth. If they sing in harmony, you hear the language of Earth and herbs, the language of warmth and cold. Look, Tonger, and listen. Whose words are all around? What does Earth say? It says a lot of things. A lot of time passed. You were gone. You forgot many things. Your heart is spoiled, Tonger. Let us see if it's rotten. How can you see that? The fight will show. Whose heart is keen? Who hears the unheard words? You will see my heart. The kin's blood runs through me. I was never torn from my people. I'll take a look.
Stamina is low, attacks are weaker. Sword faster when you block in combat. Mm -hmm. Spill his blood. Let us trade hearts, Holbin. Let's become kin. What need you have of mine? Isn't it rotten? A river of good washes away a drop of rot. There's no me and you. There's people, Hatange. Mix your flesh with ours. All right, let it be so. I'm curious, would anything in particular happen if I didn't do this? Because it seems like I have a choice to not switch hearts. Exchange hearts. And mine is indeed rotten. Almost there. Are you relieved? Oh yes. Can't wait to get there. Just can't wait. <laughs> Fucking creepy. They're death. Death just can't wait. Are we there already? Don't worry. You can't miss it. We're riding the rails, and a railroad, like fate, always has a final destination. Our next stop will be our last. A true stop. Good. Well, it was nice passing the time. Good luck with your father. I'm sure he can't wait. Yes. They really can't wait. They're dead. I hope so. This trip has been a long time coming. Dear son, Artemy, I write to you after so many years apart in the hopes that you may find a way to return to us. Something worries me. I fear a difficult trial approaches. I hope that your studies have proven fruitful and that you have achieved great skill as a surgeon. Such skill might be of use here. I remain the only physician in this town, but you know that I am growing old. Oh. I thought I had more to walk around before it ended. Didn't mean to cut him off. Sorry, Father. All right, and then we have this. This is the start. Can't do anything about killing them. I was summoned back to my hometown by a distressing letter from my father. I should hurry home. In his letter, father wrote that he will face a difficult trial. Or did he write, we? I don't remember. Home sweet home welcomed me with its knives honed. 
What does this mean? Let's see if we can get a tourniquet from our future friend up here. Oh, right. We should loot them. Hmm. We're actually a bit hungry. I guess I'll eat the toast. And drink the water. We got some pretty good stuff to sell. Pocket watch is worth a lot. Charm's worth a lot. Yeah. Oh, right. I gotta get used to my inventory being incredibly tiny. Yeah, my inventory grows, I think, when I get given my father's uh, warm vessel. Weird term, but I forgot the uh, step term for it. Yeah, when we get that, we get a bit more inventory, and then, of course, inventory upgrades also do the thing. It's so tiny. How did I ever live like this? I guess you don't have to worry about carrying around tinctures to begin with. The worst is yet to come. You hit hard for a hunchback. But, oh boy, you screwed up. Those three guys are dead. I saw you do it, too. You're going to be in serious trouble. The hunchback? Kid, I'm bent over in pain here. You need to handle that bleeding, old man. You're covered in blood. Your own blood. I know that. Here you go. A tourniquet. It used to be my leash, but it seems like you need it more. Thanks. You're a nice kid. Man, you really have some anger problems, don't you? Zing, pow, blam. Three guys dead. This ain't the right way. And how we do things around here. I'll handle it. It's my sin to carry. I don't need a lecture. Oh man, you're gonna get in trouble. The two guys that got away are gonna stir up the whole town. Every dog has its day. They'll make you apologize for sure. On your back. In the dirt. Before I was apologetic... This time, I'm not going to be. I won't apologize to anyone. I acted in self-defense. Well, you gotta be nicer. Just hit him. Three times, max. Send him running. And let him run. You don't actually have to kill everyone who bothers you. Jeez. Well, keep that in mind. I met a funny dog-eared kid at the station. What was he doing there? It's funny that this is my hurt health. This was my max health by the end of the game. <laughs> when the cat's away, the mice will play. Wait. When the cat's away. I've heard that before. Is this... I feel like I heard the Han say that. Unless multiple people say the same thing, is this the Han? From the polyhedron? I'm, I'm not sure. I put it in my notes just in case. Let's also write... The mice will play. So if I hear that again, I can be reminded. The one with the knife was Kirik, a leather worker. I'm not gonna cry for him. That guy was nuts. Who are the others? Hell if I know. Cannery workers. You can tell by their hands. Moonlighting as highwaymen? Does the cannery underbay them? I don't know. Rumors going around that someone else got murdered tonight. Guess I should sniff around and find out. Who knows? Maybe it's true. Good boy. <laughs> Someone important was murdered tonight. Yes. My father? It was Simon Kine and Isidore that were both murdered on the same night, right? Or maybe a day apart, I'm not quite sure. Hey, assholes. 
Well, Burrah, you're nearly dead. Got a few minutes left. I'm here to announce your demise. <laughs> Can't do much on such short notice. You've been bashed on the head several times, and the locals' fists are heavy. And one of those four stab wounds looks deep. Significant blood loss, too. And the local climate is unforgiving in terms of strain. Do you have any heart conditions? Huh. <laughs> Their health is a mess. I'm guessing you haven't eaten in several days and that you didn't sleep last night, did you? That's what I thought. So your hunger and exhaustion are critical, too. I wonder which of these afflictions will be the death of you first. So what's your plan? Mm, if I'm going to die, so be it. Aw, oh, fatalism looks cute on you. Better not to make proclamations like that without gritting your teeth. Problem is, your teeth have almost been knocked out, so clenching your jaw is hard. Fatalism's much more fun when you've got options, isn't it? I'm done with you. Piss off. Persistent, huh? Good. Maybe you'll even survive a day or two this way. Oh, I love this option. Got a bite? Bird seeds, fine. Food is sold in shops, though your reputation might prevent you from a warm welcome. But there's a meat warehouse nearby that was conveniently broken into recently. The perpetrators walked down the railroad tracks. There, ahead and to the right. Think you can catch up to them? Ah. It's meat day. Yes, the railroad tracks that go through the warehouses is just a stone's throw away. Godspeed, Purach. Though I doubt it'll be easy. God's presence or not. Easy isn't my style, anyway. Welcome back home, Warden. You've been away a while. You probably don't even remember the heady scent of Twire in the air. Do you know why you got attacked? No clue. The whole town is looking for a murderer. A very important and respected man was killed last night. The townsfolk loved him better than some children loved their fathers. Don't be too hard on them. Don't be too hard on people that tried to murder me. <laughs> what does that have to do with me? Who was killed? You knew the victim. Less than you thought, but more than most. Don't worry, you'll learn more soon. But I personally can't divulge this sort of information. Investigator's privilege. So you're an investigator? Aren't we all? Everyone lies. So you can only get to the bottom of things by using your brain. That's what your father used to say. It's an actual quote from him, by the way. Because I happen to know him. And we got even better acquainted today. How about you? Did you two argue much? Got even better acquainted today. Happened to know him. Is that from the plague five years ago because you're deaf? Got to know him back during that plague and met them just recently once again. Never. Indeed, old Isidore Burrah is the exemplar of a true doctor. And a true human being, if a miserable one. Do you honor your father? I do. Whatever, that bit's not important. Time is short. Oh, by the way, Bura, time is important. Be careful how you spend it, and be aware that you don't have much left. I know, a few more minutes, your colleague already told me. Well, a little more. I intend to live to 80, no less. We're a long-lived family. You've got less than two weeks, Bura. Twelve or so days. Trust me, I'm a specialist. So use your time well, and hurry home now. Why are you wasting your time here? Your father's waiting. I don't like you much, Beakhead. Be quiet. He must not hear your voice. Lean close. He only speaks in lies and wants you dead. I see. Care to elaborate on that? Monkey man? Do not go home, Burrah. 
Stay clear of home. In town, you have some friends yet, do you not? Yes, three of them. We were inseparable when we were kids. The town is yours, Bura. May you soon find how deep, how far its roots run down your spine. May you inhabit it, sink through its pores, learn vein and artery, nerve and blood and cell. You need no home beyond the town itself. Forget that place you so eagerly seek. I beg forgiveness. Grievous harm will come to me should I tell you more than I can. Keep what you said in mind. Yeah, I probably shouldn't head home and should head to friends. Because... Some point soon, we're going to have to go to Lara's place to avoid being killed. Hmm, the boats aren't marked as, like, things I can go inside of yet. Can you not go into them yet? Or have I just not discovered them? Anyway, I should probably take advantage of meat day. They don't trade for money, that person, I, I think. So I guess I could go there with the goods that I have right now. I suppose. I'm trying to remember exactly how the thing plays out. The whole people are after me thing, because it's not happening just yet, I think. I think some people come up to tell me stuff. Because right now, the only thing marked on my map is go home. Oh, my exhaustion's not bad at all. It's at like 25%. Oh, and I can drink water from everywhere this early in the game. Right. Beautiful. Beautiful. 